Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can deploy our machine learning models as a web app using Streamlit and we have also hosted these Streamlit web apps on Streamlit Cloud. Later, we have discussed how we can deploy the machine learning models as APIs and we have also hosted these APIs on Heroku. And in this video, we are going to discuss how we can deploy this machine learning web apps that we have built using Streamlit on Heroku. So this will be the agenda for today's video and let's get started. So the ML web app that we will be deploying is the multiple disease prediction system that we have worked before. So in this video, I have explained you how you can build this simple UI using Streamlit where we are building a multiple disease prediction system where we have different machine learning models working in order to predict whether a person will have diabetes or we are, uh, you know, a person has heart disease or Parkinson's. So this is the multiple disease prediction system that we have worked before. So this is the video that you might need to watch in order to understand how we can build this. So I'll give the link for this video in this video's description so you can check that out before, uh, you know, going with this particular video okay and for this we are going to use github where we will be uh, uploading all the files that we need later we will deploy this uh, machine learning web app on Heroku. okay so let's try to understand how we can do that so you need like two files for this one is the proc file and the another one is the setup.sh file okay so i'll open this proc file so it contains this particular line. So you have to create a text file like this. So I'll show you what you can do. So just create a notepad. So here you can just create a text file using notepad and I'll give the link for these files to you. So just copy this text or just uh, uh, like watch this text and copy all these details and put it in a new file. And here just save this, save this as, you know, proc file where p has to be in caps so let me put this as proc file and uh, i'll just delete this one because it is already present there so i'm creating this proc file and it will be saved as a text file okay now if you see this is what it contains it contains like web sh setup.sh and streamlit run app.py so i'll explain you what these things means so setup.sh is the file that we have to create now which contain like these details and app.py is the python file where you are building your streamlit app so these are all the files that you need so this app.py so this is where we have like written the python script in order to uh, load this machine learning models that we have built so all these are explained in the video that i have shown you before so we have this diabetes model art disease model and parkinson's model and we are creating the navigation bar and so on so uh, like this basically contains three pages where one page is for diabetes prediction second page is for art disease prediction and the third is for parkinson's prediction and we are using this streamlit uh, you know library and so on for building this so name this file as app.py and that is what should be mentioned here okay so streamlit run app.py and these are all the models that we need so diabetes underscore model dot sav and then we have our disease model and parkinson's model so we are like loading uh, these models from this line so we are loading these three models okay so later we have this requirement.txt which contains all the libraries that we need. So we have the numpy library pickle which is used for loading uh, uh, you know the saved model or for saving the trained machine learning model and so on. And then we have the streamlet for building this simple UI and then streamlet option menu. So this is used for creating like navigation bars for our web app and then scikit-learn of course for machine learning models and then we have this protobuf. So this protobuf is uh, you know we need to like mention this and this is like a requirement from Heroku's side. So if you don't mention this, you probably get an error because of this version errors and so on. So it's better to include this protobuf in this requirement.txt. So you can like mention this, uh, uh, you know, versions or you can like run this without uh, the versions as well. But make sure you mention the version for this protobuf. So this is like very important. Okay. So I'll close this one. So these are all the things that you need. And then we have this runtime.txt, which, you know, basically tells you what is the Python version that you wanted to install. So here I mentioned 3.9.6 so these are all the files that you need first is the python file where we are writing the script for loading the machine learning models and building this uh, streamlit web app and then we are like uh, like putting together all the trained machine learning models and then we have the proc file which i have like shown you how to create and then we have this requirement.txt which contains all the libraries and finally runtime.txt which contains the version of the python that you need and now let's see how we can create this setup.sh okay so i'll open this so I'll, uh, you know, 
put all these files in a github repository share that link i'll also put all these in a google drive uh, folder i'll also share you that link so you can get those uh, files from there so don't change any details here so this is like the default file that you need so one is the proc file and the another one is the setup.sh file so i copy all these things and i'll just delete this delete this particular file and open my notebook sorry i'll open my uh, notepad and i'll paste this and i'll save this as setup.sh okay so let's save this okay so here you can see so it is not saved as a txt file but as an sh file and uh, the proc file contains these details so one is the setup.sh file so here we are mentioning that we wanted to create a web app so that is the uh, purpose for it so this is for the Eroku system to tell that we are interested in creating a web app and the details about this are present in the setup.sh and the python file that it has to run is app.py and steam it run is the command so app.py is nothing but the python file that we have created so if you rename this uh, app.py to something else make sure that you are renaming it here as well but try to you know give the same name here as well so we have this proc file.txt now i'll close this so here rename this file by deleting the extension so delete this dot txt so you will just have this proc file so i'll just give you a yes so your proc file is created so the two main files that we need are setup.sh and proc file and this should not contain any extensions so i have like uh, all these things ready already in this particular folder so we have this python file and we have uh, the three saved models and then we have this uh, proc file requirement.txt for mentioning the libraries runtime.txt for mentioning the python version and finally set setup.sh okay now we have to like upload all these files to our github repository okay so make sure you create a, a github account and like use the same gmail or email id for eroku so you cannot like create a github account with a, a particular email id and you cannot like create a eroku account with a different email id so in that case uh, your github won't be connected to eroku so this is like one requirement make sure you are using the same mail id for github as well as eroku okay so now let's create a new repository and I'll name this as streamlit app Eroku. Okay. So let this be public. So if you want, you can also make that as private. So here you can just mention some description you like you want. So this is like deploying machine learning web app using streamlit on Eroku so you can so this is like optional you don't have to give this description but just mention like what you are creating here so I'm creating a public repository and here I can give this create repository okay now from here I can upload all the files that I have saved so I'll give this uploading an existing file from this you can like choose your files so I'll uh, go to this desktop where I have this particular folder called streamlit app on Eroku so you need like all these files so I'll select all these files and click this open. So this will upload all the files that we have. And in total, we have about eight files. Okay. So all the files are uploaded. Now I can give this commit changes. So this will create my repository and you will see like what are all the files that we have. So you can click this proc file to see its content. So I'll give the link for this repository and you can copy this line from here and you can create your own proc file. Make sure that this proc file doesn't have any extension. And you can also create this setup.sh. So you can go to this repository, click this uh, setup.sh and you can like see this content. So you can just copy this and create a new setup.sh. Make sure you don't rename this proc file or setup.sh and requirements and runtime. So all these things should have the same name. So pro in proc file, P should be in caps. Okay. And these are all the other files that we need. So now we have successfully created our, uh, you know, GitHub repository. Now I'll go to this Eroku, uh, you know, site. So make sure like you have logged in using the same uh, email id so in this case i have like logged in with the same mail id for github and Eroku. and here uh, we can create this new so this is the previous uh, video that we have worked on where we have deployed these ml models as apis now i'll give this new and let's create a new ml web app so let's name this as uh, streamlit app or streamlit on Eroku. so you can give any name that you are interested in or let me put this as multiple this is prediction uh, 
okay yeah so this name is available so i'll create this app and you can just choose this re region to united states itself so you don't have to change that so let's create an app here so all the process are like pretty simple it's not like that much complicated at all now uh, we are going to connect our github account so this is the uh, like ml app that we are going to create in eroku and here i'll give this connect to github now we have to like uh, give the name of the repository that we have created so the name of this repository is streamlit app eroku so you don't have to give the entire name so you can just say streamlit and it will show all the repositories that begins with the streamlet so you can see siddharthan23 which is my github uh, username and streamlet app eroku so this is the repository that we are working on so like here we have to give this connect so this will like take all the files from that repository so we are just basically linking that repository to this uh, you know eroku system and you can see the branch so here we are not like creating any other branch so we just have this main branch so like we don't have any issue so if you are like creating a different branch uh, in that case like mention like what is the branch that you are working on so after that you can click this enable enable uh, automatic deploy so after that we have to say deploy branch now it will like uh, go through this runtime.txt file and see what is the python version uh, that it needs to install so here you can see so it's it's installing 3.9.6 which is the version of the python uh, like version that we like mentioned there and it will like install all the libraries that we have mentioned in our requirements.txt okay so this will take a few minutes depending upon you know the app that you are working on so in this case it will probably take a minute or two so once this is complete, you will get a public URL and uh, uh, like anyone can access that public URL and, and see the app that you have created. So where this will be helpful is it's, you know, let's say that you are uh, uh, about to attend a machine learning or data science interview. And let's say that you have worked on, let's say, five or six use cases uh, related to machine learning or data science. Instead of like showing the code or like, uh, you know, just explaining what you have done it's always better to create a simple ui uh, for your machine learning model that you have built using streamlet or flask and then deploy these uh, machine learning uh, you know web apps on eroku and you will finally get a public url right so you can just share that url to that interviewer so that they can easily go through like what is the thing that you have worked on so this will make a really good impression so this would be something that like uh, you know something like good to do in an interview so this is the other thing and uh, i think it's about to get complete okay so it's almost done so this will be the url for our uh, ml web app so let's wait for it so if there are like any errors uh, in your system or uh, you know any errors in the deployment you can see what that particular error is by going to this more and view logs so this view logs will tell you if there are any errors so from that you can like kind of uh, rectify that so that is like other thing that you can remember okay. so this is taking some time yeah now it is ready now i just uh, i can just click this view and this is the URL for my uh, machine learning web app, which we have hosted. So here you can see, so we have this navigation bar and uh, the first one is for this diabetes prediction using ML and we have all these features. So the number of pregnancies, glucose value and so on. And then we have this art disease prediction and the Parkinson's uh, prediction and so on. So let's try this for this diabetes prediction. So I have this data set here in my desktop. So uh, let's do one thing. So let's copy this first data point value and try to predict whether a person has diabetes or not. So if this outcome is one, that means the person is diabetic. If this outcome is zero, that means the person is like not diabetic. Let's first like put these values. So first is like six, 148. Uh, so the number of pregnancy is six and the glucose value is 148. So let me put that here. So number of pregnancies is six and glucose level should be 148. And blood pressure value is 72. and uh, skin thickness 35 insulin 0 so 35 0 and the next one is the bmi value which is 33.6 so it's 33.6 and then diabetes pedigree function so this value is 0 0.627 and age is 50 so let's give this as 0 0.627 and age of the person is 50 
So now let's click this diabetes test result and it will show that the person is diabetic. So here we can recheck whether the outcome is 1. So in this case the outcome is 1. So the person is actually diabetic. So you can also check this for uh, label 0. So you can check this for the second data point and see whether it says the person is not diabetic. Okay. So it will work. And if you want you can like uh, go through this R disease prediction and Parkinson's uh, disease prediction and so on. So as I've told you I have explained how to build these models and how to create this UI using Streamlit on this particular video. So please watch this video if you are not sure, you know, how to like create this UIs and things like that. Okay. So let me just quickly show you how this, how all these things comes together. So here you have seen, right, that once you give all these values and click this predict, it will tell you whether that person is diabetic or not. So what happens under the hood is, so I'll open this Python file. So here you can see we are loading the model called as diabetes model.scv. So this is a model that has been trained on this diabetes data that I have shown you. So similarly we have our disease and Parkinson's model and then we are creating this a navigation sidebar where the person can choose either diabetes prediction or our disease prediction or Parkinson's prediction. So these are all the input values. So you have seen that input the text fields right. So the, we are creating that using this st text input and uh, uh, like once you get all these values we are using this diabetes model dot predict in order to predict whether a person is diabetic or not based on these values so pregnancy is glucose blood pressure all these input features and if the label is one we have to say the person is diabetic else that means if the label is zero we have to say the person is not diabetic so this concept is same for this uh, our disease prediction and uh, parkinson's prediction as well so I hope that you have clearly understood how we can deploy this ML web app on Heroku. So please try this by yourself. So this will be like really helpful for you, uh, you know, at some point of time. So all you need to do is create this proc file. So I'll, as I've told you, I'll share the link of this repository. So you can find this proc file here. So just copy this and uh, put that in a, you know, uh, notepad text file and save it as proc file without any extension. Later create this uh, setup.esh. So again, it should have the extension as .sh. So these are all the contents for it. So you don't have to ch change anything. So if you wanted to deploy uh, uh, some other apps, make sure like you name that app to app.py. So if you want any models or uh, some other Python files, you can like put that in the same repository and make sure like uh, you create this runtime.txt which contains like all the libraries that we need and make sure to include this protobuf uh, library as well. And then uh, runtime, you can mention the Python library that you need. So once you deploy this, so this is the link that you uh, get for your, uh, you know, for your ML web app. So like you can share this uh, link to someone else so they can like, uh, you know, so this is like a remote app. So it's not like it has to be accessed from your system, like a local host. So this is like a public URL. So anyone can access it, access it and check how this is working and, and get this test result and so on. Okay. So this is how like all these things comes together. And I hope that you have understood all the things that is covered in this video. And that's it from my side. I'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching.